Hi, I'm Rick Steves. I'm in Cadiz. This is the home of Salvador Dali, and I'm lucky to have my local guide, Merci. Merci. Hi. Hola. Hola. And this is the old entrance to Gal to Salvador Dali's house. Yes, it is. And he had lots of friends. A lot. And what is the meaning of this statue here? When people used to come in through this door, he built this sculpture, which is a warrior and a child. Once you cut into the party, you will get fun like a child. So these two feet, these two feet are the warrior's yeah. feet, and these two feet are the little child. So of if course. you go to the party, you step in here, exactly. and uh, he was kind of a funny guy with his guests because if somebody needed to make a phone call, he would say, "Well, you just use the the national phone booth." So exactly. he had that list. Yeah, he was really and really here we have clever with it, and, and they just turned the waterfalls off, which is nice, so we can hear each other. But this is Dolly's penis-shaped swimming pool. And Keith Richards and all the pop stars and the movie stars came here in the 50s and the 60s and the hippies. And this was the king of surrealism. And he'd have his crazy parties here. But he was kind of, he, he, he observed. Yes, he, he just liked to observe the people drinking the very good uh, pink uh, rosé wine that he invited them. And this is his wonderland where he entertained. And at the head of the penis, we have the old pre-electricity lighthouse from the point here. Yes. Along with his favorite animals. And He's we're just ready to go. But this yeah. is Dolly's wonderland. And anybody can visit that when they come to Cadiz. <laughs> Happy travels. And uh, get into Dolly when you're in Catalonia. Visca Catalonia. Steve's in the house of Salvador Dali. Salvador Dali. And this is his studio. He had that easel on a pulley where he could lower it and raise it and stay seated. And this is, you see a lot of dead people's homes when you travel, but there's nothing as beautiful as this. So we can go over the spirit of Salvador Dali. He loved his mustaches. His his, his muse, his lover, was Gala, and she died in 1982, and Salvador Dali left this house never to return, and today, Dali's paint storage, Dali's knickknacks, and just lots of excitement when you visit the home of Salvador Dali. Okay. This was the, the bedroom of Dali and his muse, Gala, and, uh, this is a, when, when Gala died in 1982, Dali left his home and never came back. And this is a time warp for how Salvador Dali lived in 1982. You can even see a little bit of Dali's bathroom here. And Dali, just so exciting. And there was a mirror over there. And we're in the most eastern part of Spain. And, and Dali, wearing that key, didn't have to leave his bed in order to see the sunrise. He was the first person in Spain to see the sunrise from that mirror. And he loved the sound of a cricket, so he had his own little cricket in that cricket home. But we're just getting a little sense of the creative spirit of Salvador Dali at his home in Cadiz. Happy travels.